Hi, this is Jan from Log Cabin Leather, and today I'm here to talk about butterflies. If you've followed me on Facebook or on YouTube or Pinterest even for the last couple months, you've noticed pretty much everything has been about butterflies. So today I'm here to talk about why butterflies became my passion, how it all started way back in the 70s, the piece of equipment called my Glow Forge, and how that really upped my game in the butterfly field, and how now they really have become my <laughs> obsession. So, again, it all started back in the 70s. The original butterfly thing that you could get when I started doing leather work way back then was this shape. And this was for a, a hip stick barrette or whatever, very popular way back then. Still somewhat popular today, although younger kids, again, don't know how to use them. It's people my age that know what they are and, and loved them because you could put so much hair in them and so forth. But this was the only shape you could buy. So that was a little boring. Um, it You were limited because I wanted to stamp designs on here. And because of the cutouts and so forth, it was difficult to do this. So this was something I pre-bought. Cutting a shape like this by hand is impossible with leather because it's too thick and you'd get little cuts. And, you know, again, it's not going to look good. Um, it's done with a, like a got die cut you know, pressed into a machine like a cookie cutter to cut it out. Uh, later on, many years later, actually, I found this shape. So again, a little bit better because now I have more space where I could put more designs on and things. But still, not a very pretty butterfly shape. I was a teacher for many years, and again, the life cycle of a butterfly and so forth was something we always studied in class. So, and butterflies to most women, I don't know, women in particular, love butterflies a lot of people it has a very symbolic meaning so you know all of that too you know butterflies are beautiful they're delicate they're resilient but very strong so that's another reason why i think butterflies appeal to people but <coughs> what really upped my game was in 2020 just before we went into lockdown i bought a piece of equipment called my glow forge now i've shown other videos about that and i will be talking more about that this week i will continue this series with some more videos on the process of making the the now intricate shape butterflies so what the glow forge did is now i could make whatever kind of butterfly i want first i have to do the pattern which is what i'm going to talk about or another these are all my patterns that i've made i'm going to talk about how i made those patterns and the difficulties and so forth with those um but with that once i have established a pattern and made it i can make that same butterfly whatever size i want this is all the same pattern and so forth different color but it's the same butterfly pattern that's a hair streak butterfly so, again, I like realistic things. So, in order to make this collection or to make the butterfly things, now that I could make them real butterfly shapes, I wanted to make them look like real butterflies. So, I started researching butterflies, and that's where, again, I'm coming up with the different shapes. This is called the hair streak. This is called the metal. This is a Zephyr metal mark. Um, and again, you can see I have it in, you know, so a different shape there. Uh, Ulysses butterfly has different tails um, sunset moth and again I could make them in any size shape I want so that really upped my game but researching the different types of butterflies I kind of went overboard there are so many butterflies of course there's a million that have shades of blue in it and it's like no you can't you know so trying to limit you can't make all blue you know trying to get something in all colors because I'm a color person so I'm trying to get something in all colors of the rainbow uh, I've really become obsessed with them I love painting them I love creating different products with them so now you know I'm branching out with them on different things. I have the bookmarks with them and so forth. And so that really did up my game. And I absolutely love them. I will be talking about butterflies for another few for the rest of this month. After that, I'm going to move on to um, perhaps a different topic. I'm not sure what I'm doing there. Um I'm just going to work on a hand to a bell collection, so I'm not sure how I'm quite fitting that in. But in any event, in this collection, 
going further forward there will also be videos coming out again my next one will be on the patterns and how I create all these patterns and once I draw the picture which is how it all begins uh, how I make it the machine cut it out and so forth like that so that will be another video um, the one after that I'll be talking about um, again how once it's once I've made the pattern how it's cut how it's engraved how I can resize it, how I can reverse the pattern if I need to make something like a left and right side, which is not so much with butterflies, but, you know, it's a little different on those things. But in other, some things, you'd want it, like a bird, you want it to be symmetrical. If I want them to face each other, I want, and I'm making an earring, I want the two bird heads to face the same, you know, into each other so that when you're wearing them, they look the same, that type of thing. So... I, it took me a while to figure that out. So that will be in another video. And then how I have to, you know, paint them. And then how I mold them to give them the kind of the 3D shapes that they have to them. And so forth. So those will all be videos that will be upcoming. Now, if you want to see more of these, please, again, if you're on Facebook, follow me. Like my vi the video. Follow my page. That way you'll be sure to maybe see the next videos. Um, small business, it always helps if you like and share things. It helps me to grow. Um, leaving a comment also will help a lot. Um, things like that. I would really appreciate that. If you're seeing this on YouTube, same thing. Please subscribe to my channel. Maybe give it the thumbs up. <laughs> things like that. On Facebook, I really prefer a comment or something because that goes a little bit further than the thumbs up do there. But any little bit helps. So I would appreciate any of that. And... Again, the best way to really stay in the loop to get discounts and deals on the stuff I have is to join my email. Now, again, depending on where you're watching this, there should be a link. If you're on my Facebook page, you will be able to see my Facebook page is Log Cabin Leather by Jan. So if you see this video under my, you know, under my own personal name, look on that. You know, if you look on that, it will show the link to my Facebook page. And from there... There's a link to join my email. Or on my website, logcabinleatherbyjan.com. Again, most things are log cabin leather by Jan. One way or another, my email, everything else. Uh, so you can get a hold of me that way. And, you know, follow me and subscribe. Join my email, though, because then you'll get the discounts and deals on my new products that are coming out. The sales I have every month, you'll get the special promotions for those and so forth so that is really the best way and to get information on these videos the articles I write about butterflies and so forth on my website I have lot under the blog I have lots of articles about how I create my products and I am adding to that I'm redoing it the how it's set up is terrible and um, so it is under construction so I am also working on that so check that out Hopefully I'll get it together before too long and you can see more about how my products are made. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.